Are we all ready? Time to call it to order the Farragut Beer Board for February 14th, 2019. First item is the approval of the minutes. Has the board had a chance to look at the minutes? Yeah. I'm going to move to approve. Second. Okay. Any discussion? Any changes? All right. If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Excuse me. Minutes have been approved. Next item, beer permit requests. We have an approval for a Class 6 special occasion beer permit for a remote area medicals Southern Tequila and Taco Festival. Medical, and it's their, I think their second year for doing this event, and they've requested a special event beer permit. You just said fifth year. Fifth. I guess you changed the name, didn't you? Uh, I think the first year they called it. Everything is in order, and their event is at, on April the 26th, and the motion is to approve their special occasion beer permit for the remote area medical for April the 26th, 2019. Allison, is your microphone on? Or my microphone? Mm -hmm. Okay. I had a little trouble hearing. I was curious. I've got to move to approve. Second. All right. Uh, do we have a representative? Would you step up to the podium? Give us your name and your home address, please. Uh, my name is Don Mackey, and my home address is 12219 Mossy Point Way. Okay. Tell us a little bit about uh, what you're about to uh, undertake here. And that's your fifth, fifth year, did you yeah, say? I believe it's the fifth year, right. Okay. I think the first year was real small. The second year was a little bit bigger, but uh, the last three years have been the, the have gotten bigger each year. It seems like. So we're we're uh, holding our our uh, Southern Tequila and Taco Festival out at the Outlet Drive, in the old uh, uh, what was the name of that? At home. At home. Thank you. At the old at home uh, facility in the parking lot and uh, we'll probably have, uh, I think last year, I don't recall the exact numbers of the tents and all like that, uh, but we had uh, I think roughly 15 taco vendors that came in. I think we're gonna have a few more than that this year. Um, and then of course we have the uh, uh, the distributors come set up tents and then we have other uh, vendors that have set up as well. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we had roughly I think about 2,000 last year. We'll probably have just a few more than that this year. Um, so we're looking forward to it. Well, we're glad to have you in Farragut. We're glad that uh, you've come back. Uh, is there any questions or comments by the board? I don't. I none. have none. All right. All right. Well, thank All, you very much. We're going to take a vote. All in favor of the uh, motion, say aye. 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 Opposed? Congratulations. Thank you very Welcome much. Welcome back. Appreciate it. Next item. Approval of a Class 6 Special Occasion Beer Permit for Young Williams Animal Center and, Pinna and Pinnacle at Turkey Creek's Fido Fest. Yes, sir. The Fido Fest, all their information is in order, order, and someone is here tonight. And the motion is to approve a Special Occasion Beer Permit for the Pinnacle at Turkey Creek and Young Williams Animal Shelter Centers, Fido Fest, May 11, 2019. So moved. All right. We have representative. If you'll step up and give us your name and home address okay my name is Daryl Whitehead and I'm at 12463 Cotton Blossom Lane here in Farragut and this is our third year for the event the first year was happening in our phase one which is the on the Knoxville side similar to uh, the Taco Fest and this year the last two years rather we've put it up in phase four in the former Charming Charlie's location in that parking lot oh, okay. helps us utilize the parking lot also helps in great um, integrate people that have dogs and like to go for walks and tie them into the greenway and it becomes a great family event uh, and the amenities of just being able to have all of that for the all the family members that are there uh, young Williams has a great time there and along with radio systems and some other sponsors it turns out to be an interesting event last year uh, we had about 2,000 people there not including dogs and four-legged animals but um, it was quite busy and, and a great time for everybody so it was very successful last year. Is it going to have more um, booths or more? No, it's more of a, of a side same. amenity than anything else. I think most of the things that will be there were character artists and things for the kids, and, and it's more for the adults and, and a, a beverage to enjoy your afternoon. So you have beverage, and whether it be food or just beverage? It will be food, too, and food trucks, Good. two of them up in that top area. Okay, they're aware they'll need a permit, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Any other questions or comments by the I, board? I just wanted to make a comment that we have a, an exciting end of April and into May because we have the tacos and tequila event. Then the following week we have the Farragut 
uh, Taste of Farragut, and then the following week we have Fido Fest. We've got a lot going on in Farragut. That's exciting. Very much so. That's all I had. All right. Any other comments? No. All right. Time to vote. All in favor of the motion, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Thank Congratulations. Thanks for coming back. Thank you. Any other business for the beer board? Not, we're adjourned. Breakfast on the 26th. I'm good. Goes to bed after the news and goes, yes, well, Robin, so most of the time when you come, it's to talk about something that's on the agenda. <laughs> Time is approximately 7 p.m. Now call to order the February 14th, 2019 Farragut Board and Mayor Alderman meeting. We will first have a prayer by Steve Peake, First Baptist Concord, and will be followed by the Pledge of Allegiance to our country's flag. Would you pray with me, please? Dear God, we thank you for this day when we take time to reflect on the gift of love and all those who have placed in our lives who have so freely given their love to us. We are blessed to live in a town where many people have given and continue to give so that we can have the opportunity to have a nice home to live in, good schools, nice places to worship, good parks and recreation areas, and most of all, good businesses to give us opportunities to shop and enjoy time with our family and friends. Thank you for our mayor, for our council members, for all their staff members. Pray that you bless them as they make decisions to continue to improve our town. We know that they don't serve for the fame or the financial benefit, but because of their love for our town and the people who live here. We're grateful to know that you're the source of our love and the provision for our daily needs comes from one who loves us so much that he gives us many, many blessings every day. May we always remember to look to him for guidance and direction. In the loving name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Steve. You're welcome. I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of, of the United, United States, States of America and to the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
ready? Okay. Okay, uh, on the agenda, do I have a motion to approve the adoption of this meeting's posted agenda? There's no changes. No, ma'am. Move to approve. I'll second. Okay, I have a motion and a second. All in favor say yes. 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 Motion to adopt the agenda as posted for this meeting has been approved. Okay, uh, on the mayor's report, I do have something to report, but first I will let, uh, I'll yield the floor to the vice mayor. Um, I just wanted to, I'm sure some, if you're following the Farragut Press, the Farragut High School dance team won a second, uh, unprecedented second year in a row national dance championship in small varsity jazz and uh, finished second in Palm. They've had another incredibly successful year and we hope to have them here to uh, honor them in the coming weeks. Okay. Thank you. Okay, the next uh, item of business uh, will be uh, we have a uh, tourism uh, investor committee that uh, uh, Vice Mayor Pavlin has chaired and we're gonna move her as myself to the audience and uh, make uh, Ron Pinchuk our uh, chair for that particular uh, committee. Is he a not, chair? Not He's chair. not a chair, no. a the, Liaison. the board okay. member. Board member. Okay. Yeah. And uh, that's all I have. And I have no, I have no worries with that. Um, I'm, I've got my hands full with the Education Relations Committee and trying to wrangle that into. Uh, it's, it's a work in progress. Um, but it, it makes me think that uh, I'm not sure if there's other committees that we would like some board um, involvement in. I think that's something that we might want to talk about in a, a workshop and during our budget cycle. Uh, I know the person the committees come up and, and new people are appointed. That might be a good time for us to, to reflect and see if there's, we would like to see some board representation on some of the other committees. Uh, most of them we do have someone on, uh, either you or myself or Ron, uh, and we, uh, we generally attend all the other committee yeah, meetings. Yeah. So. I was thinking maybe we could spread the love a little bit with with oh. uh, Alderman Burnett and Alderman Meyer if they're interested. <laughs> Not to put anyone on the spot or anything, but yeah, I'd be willing to look at the yep. open boards. Um, Dave, Dave go, ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. Well, no, if you want to interrupt, come <laughs> on. <laughs> no, I'll be open. Uh, just be a timing thing and yep. an interest in that yep. committee. Yeah. Okay, great. I was just going to make one suggestion. I don't have the charter for the uh, or the bylaws for the committee in front of me, but it may be better if the board would just vote on that by okay. by acclamation or however you'd like to to make a motion and a second on that, just to affirm that uh, from the board's perspective. The change of the the, the change of the member from uh, okay. Vice I'll Mayor Pavlin to I'll go ahead and make the motion. Uh, uh, move to um, appoint Ron Pinchock to the position of board representative uh, for the. Tourism and Visitors Committee. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, it looks like this uh, motion's been adopted. Thank you, Elise. You're uh, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, approval of the minutes. Are there any changes to the posted January 24th minutes? No, sir. Has everyone had a chance to review the minutes? Yes. Okay, great. Uh, to approve and I'll second all in favor vote yes yes, yes. motion to approve the posted minutes has passed and will be recorded as the official minutes for the January 24 2019 Farragut board mayor and alderman meeting okay, next will be ordinances this will be a public hearing and second reading first ordinance will be ordinance 19-05 an ordinance to amend appendix a Zoning, Chapter 4, General Provisions and Exceptions, Section 2, Administration and Enforcement, Part C, Farragut Board of Zoning Appeals, of the Farragut Municipal Code. Insert Item 6, Attendance. Uh, Mayor Trevor Hobbs has staff presentation on this. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Trevor. This is, this is a follow-up ordinance to the changes related to committee attendance policies. Because the Board of Zoning Appeals has an ordinance, um, we are inserting item six to be the language of their attendance policy. Do we know, Trevor, with this? We with have to this? make a, make a motion oh, first. We'll get to yeah. that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Uh, okay. <laughs> Do I have a motion to approve Ordinance 1905 on the second reading? Move to approve. I'll oh, second. Okay. Discussion? Mr. Hobbs. Do we know if this is adopted, what this would do for us looking back 12 months? In other words, how many, roughly how many people might we lose? This goes into effect. Uh, July 1, July 2019. 1. Right. But so my point is, though, if this was in effect for the last 12 months, would we lose 50% of the people or would we lose a couple people? Because it wouldn't take effect until July, essentially no one would be impacted based okay. on past Absences. Yeah. I'm, Did we have any absences? I think that's what he's Oh, you mean at. based on yeah. attendance yeah. patterns, yeah. would we? Yeah. You yeah. yeah. serve on the board of zoning appeals. I would tell you no. I think it's a pretty mm -hmm. consistent. We're, we're, yeah, they're we're, pretty. We're usually open. Yep. Absences. Yep. I think in the past, the absences that we've have had has been due to sickness or family sickness, and then uh, most of them have been asked to be reinstated. So, that's from what I can remember. I've got a question. How is that tracked? How are the absences tracked? Who in our is minutes. It based on the minutes? In our minutes. Uh, it's staff minutes. of each committee uh, tracks those based on um, who the staff person is that, that goes to those meetings. And then they track whether it's the second or third or whichever okay. absence that is. And once they get to, if it's a three absence committee, once they hit their second one, we always let them know that their next absence, they would be... Um, they would have to ask to be re uh, reapply to the committee. And that's happened before, too. People yeah. have had I illnesses, and they ask to be reinstated, and typically we honor that. Okay, any other discussion? I have no further. Uh, okay, I have a motion and a second to approve. I'll now ask for a roll call vote. Alderman Burnett? Yes. Alderman Meyer? Yes. Alderman Pinchock? Yes. Alderman Pavlin? Yes. Mayor Williams? Yes. Okay, let the record show Ordinance 19 05 has been approved on the second reading. Okay, next will be Ordinance 1906, Ordinance to amend the Capital Investment Program and State Street Aid Fund budget of the fiscal year 2018 2019 budget passed by Ordinance 1806. Yes, sir. There are no changes in this. Um, from the first reading, and so the capital investment program will be amended by increasing the appropriate expenditures from ten million seven hundred and seventeen thousand seven hundred to ten million seven hundred fifty three thousand seven hundred, which is an increase of thirty six thousand dollars. And that is for the Watt Road Kingston Pike intersection project. The State Street Fund Street Aid Fund will be increased by eight hundred and fifty four thousand six hundred twenty four dollars. That's for the resurfacing pro program and those are monies that were not spent in fiscal year 18 that will need to move to fiscal year 19 so we can use those monies correct okay okay uh, that move, a motion? To, move to approve second okay discussion none I have a motion and a second to approve I'll now again ask for a roll call vote Alderman Meyer yes Alderman Pinchock yes Alderman Pavlin yes Alderman Burnett yes Mayor Williams. Yes. Okay. Let the record show Ordinance 1906 has been approved on the second reading. Okay. Next is uh, Citizens Forum. Do we have anyone signed up to speak? No, sir. We do not. Okay. Great. Uh, uh, this has been moved to the to the end of the uh, of the uh, meeting, uh, so that uh, our, mainly in case we have a. Uh, staff or anyone that would be here on a short notice that they could uh, get done what they need to do and then be on home to their families and then if we do have citizens of course we'll stay here and listen to what they have to say in citizens forum okay town administrators report i have nothing to report tonight mayor nothing well town attorney tom hale is not here any other board items yes sir none if not the time is approximately seven 10, 11, okay, p.m. and February 14, 2019, Board Mayor Alderman meeting is now adjourned. We missed